Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Katherine D. Graham, USA Today bestselling fantasy author, editor, and book reviewer. And today we're coming back to draft the digital, back to the books to raid universal buy link to show you guys how to change your retailer links once you have already set up your universal buy link. If you don't know what a universal buy link is, or you'd like to hear how to set it up, there is an earlier video, uh, which this video is actually a response to, which you can see at the link in the description box. But draft to digital is a publishing all service platform that is uh, free to use as an author, you just give them in a little bit of an exchange for your royalties. Um, and they give you a free universal buy link so that readers, no matter where they are in the world, can be automatically redirected to their country's version of the retailer they choose to buy from. So this video assumes you have already set up the universal buy link. And now for whatever reason, you've republished your book. Um, maybe you put a new cover on it and put a brand new edition out. Or you've got a brand new book in general uh, that you would like to link for some reason. Uh, whatever the case may be, this will show you how to change and correct that link. Just a very quick disclaimer that while this video was not sponsored by draft to digital the links in the description box are affiliate links. Uh, this is the first video I've ever done as a draft to digital affiliate. So if you would like my honest opinion before I was an affiliate with them, you can check that out um, on my channel as well. But if you click the link in this video, not only will it help you get your book set up and hopefully have the great experience that I have had or better, um, but I also will get a slight kickback um, if you do sign up as well. So just in full transparency. With that, let's move on. All right. Once you sign into draft to digital you're going to click the red My Books button. This will take you to the list of all of your books. Now there's a shortcut way to get straight to um, the Universal Buy Link Edit button, which is to click on the Start a Promotion circle all the way to the right on the book that you're wanting to change. This will take you to the green Promotion tab where you will see Edit this UBL in green in the center, UBL being your Universal Buy Link. From there, you're going to click that link and I'm going to shift the screen over for you guys so that you can see um, thanks for bearing with me everybody hi so that you can see the actual screen here we go Ta-da! universal buy link so you'll see the actual universal buy link that you set up here. In this case, the vow that twisted fate. You're going to scroll down. You're not, you're going to ignore all the stuff on the left that you use to set it up, like your custom name, your URL and all that. And over here on the right hand side where it says ebook links, you're going to click clear. Some of you, it might look like a lock and you can click the lock to unlock it. This should put a blank version, if you scroll up, for that retailer down close to the bottom. And there is where you would put your new link. Uh, this can be the link in your home country. The system will take care of making it universal for you. From there, you're going to click lock in, and it's going to say locked. It'll give you a little spin. It'll tell you that it's working on updating it and then it will pin it back up to the top where it was. And from that point on, anybody that goes to that universal buy link will be rerouted to that link. Now there's a couple key things that you need to know here. One is it may not be immediate. Sometimes um, it's immediate and sometimes my experience has been that it might take a few hours. Uh, so don't do this at the last second and then immediately send it to somebody and be like, okay, go buy it now. Um, that's that's gonna be a little harder to do. It may not work for them. And two, if you're redoing links and you did a republished version or anything, please make sure you get all the ones that it's published on or else it's going to continue to send them to the old book or the old link on all these other retailers. Now, there is a very important note here 
uh, that I want to end on, which is if you updated your book through draft to digital and not through a retailer directly, like I just showed for Amazon. So you set your book up in draft to digital itself, and that's where your file is. That's where your cover is. You do not have to do these links one by one. Uh, when draft to digital puts your book, I'm going to show you up here. When draft to digital puts your ebook out and publishes it to these retailers right here where it says published, they update your universal buy link automatically because draft to digital is tied to books to read. You don't have to go in. The only ones that you have to manually change when you change a book and republish that book are the ones that have entirely new listings on the retailers themselves. Like you publish it directly through Barnes and Noble print. You publish directly through Amazon uh, KDP um, or you publish directly through Google. You don't use draft to digital for that. Then yes, you would need to update that. But no, if you go in here and you go to the ebook file and you go to details and you edit some things here, you put a new description, you do a new layout, you upload a new cover, then it will automatically update the retailers on your behalf and you no longer have to do that um, in order for them to fit. So check that off your to-do list. That's one of the benefits of using draft to digital um, as opposed to going to the retailers directly is they are more than just the universal buy link, they manage it for you very, very convenient. If you have any other questions about universal buy links or draft to digital, feel free to drop them in the comments. I will do my best to get those for you. I do not work for draft to digital. So some things may be best sending to their support if you try to do this and it's just not working. Um, but I'm happy to chat author to author. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.